Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on setting up and getting more from the speed dial keys in Swixit. Although when first installed these keys are labelled as speed dial buttons, they are actually far more powerful than a simple speed dial. They are in fact full contact keys and in this very short video we'll show you how to use them. Your client may look a little different to this one, which is one of the default skins with the Swixware version 11. But that doesn't matter. The way the key works is the same on all skins. To start with, we need to set them up. If the key has not yet been configured, simply clicking on an empty button will take you straight to its properties. If I wish to program this key for an internal user, I can simply click on the telephone directory button and find the user in the list. In my case I'm looking for the user test2 and I can speed up the search by pressing the first letter of the name on my keyboard so when I press T I'm taken to all the names starting with that letter and I can now click on the user I'm looking for and press the use icon in the toolbar. As can be seen this user details are now set up. If I wish to edit the name I can in this box when I click OK, it's ready to use. This is probably already known, but let's now look at the other features of this key. First layout. You can rearrange the buttons on the Swixit client using the drag and drop feature. So click on a button and hold while dragging to a new location. This will move the button and replace the location where you released it. By default, the button will display a picture of the appropriate user if they've set one. If they haven't, you can choose your own picture for them by right-clicking on the button and opening the Properties page. Now in the User Graphics section, you can press these three dots and browse your computer for a suitable image. This action will only change your display picture of this user and will have no effect on anyone else's client. I said at the beginning these are so much more than simple speed dial keys. For example, they can hold multiple numbers and these numbers can be linked to external data sources such as one of the Swix add-on modules, Visual Contacts. But for this example, I'm going to use my Outlook Contacts. So in Outlook, I added all the contact details for this user, where I have the various telephone numbers associated with them. Now going back to the properties page of that speed dial, I can click on the phone book icon next to the linked contact field in the drop down box for sources I select Outlook and press search. The system will now return all the search results for that name and by selecting one of them I can see the details that are stored and pressing OK will now accept those details and OK again to close and save. A left click of the button will now dial the user internally but by right clicking and moving the mouse to call I can see all the numbers associated with this user and choose which one to dial with my mouse. If I change or add a number to the contact field in Outlook, this will automatically be updated in the client. Furthermore, with the built-in Microsoft plugin, it is possible with a right click on the speed dial to show the contact in Outlook, open an email to the user, delegate a task to the user's task list in Outlook, and in this case you will get automatic notifications when the user updates or completes the task. Schedule a meeting with the user 
or even see their Outlook calendar, assuming they've given you access rights. Finally, you should already know that transferring a call to a user just requires you to press the speed dial button, having announced the call, and press the transfer key to hang up. It is also possible to simply drag and drop a call onto a speed dial button to complete an unannounced transfer. Now, when in normal operation, if you hover your mouse over a contact button, or speed dial key as you know it is present, you will get this pop up. From this single page you will see information about the user's status and can initiate a phone call, email, instant message or video call simply by pressing one of these icons. And finally the drop down icon on the right will give you access to the linked contact details which are again all accessible via a link. Everything you have seen is included as standard with the Swixit client. However, your support partner can add further functionality such as call intrusion or other features you wish to use as part of your workflow. For more information about customising your client, please contact your approved Swix partner. Thank you for your time.